What's up people? It's your host with the most. I'm Chaotic Ghost and today I want to bring you my personal favorite build for fire mages in 7.1.5. It might not be the best damage output. It might be. I'm not 100% sure. This is just my personal opinion on uh, how I like to play. Uh, so I run Conflagration and I think this just gives you an overall um, longer burn throughout the fight, especially if you're raiding. Firestarter would be better as an opener, but I don't think it really holds much ground after you get them under 90%, so that's why I run uh, Conflagration instead. Pyromaniac is good, um, but if you cast Pyroblast or Flame Strike, that's pretty long cast time. Uh, unless it's occurring during your opener and that 8% chance just isn't enough for me to justify using it. I'd rather have the surefire damage output. Uh, I run Shimmer uh, because with a lot of fights you have to move a lot. So uh, trying to get out of the way is a lot easier with Shimmer than running either one of these that are pretty much useless in my opinion. Because um, Blazing Barrier is nice. And Blast Wave is nice having that extra damage, but I don't think that they're really worth it compared to the mobility. Uh, you could run Mirror Image. Uh, that does work pretty well. It actually, I tested it out, it does do a little bit more damage uh, than running Rune of Power. Because um, with Rune of Power, it's kind of a luck thing. Um, and Mirror Image, you have a constant uh, damaging ability. Uh, Encanter's Flow, I would use Encanter's Flow for like um, heroic dungeons and stuff like that. That way I don't have to drop a Rune of Power. Uh, mainly Rune of Power is for like raiding. Um, because Encanter's Flow only goes up to 20% as to where Rune of Power is a full 40%. Uh, so Encanter's Flow, why would I pick a 20% um, over a 40%? just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I pick Flame On because with my opener, I want to have that extra Fire Blast charge with the cooldown increased. Um, Alex Draza's Fury to me is not great. It's more of a PvP talent in my opinion. Um, and Controlled Burn is good, but I would rather have the extra Fire Blast. Because this is, once again, just another chance to get the hot streak. Um, and this is a guarantee, Flame On is guaranteed. Uh, I use Frenetic Speed um, because when raiding or even in Heroics and stuff, there is a lot of moving around. That's why I use Shimmer. Uh, so you're able to cast Scorch and move a little bit faster as to where Ring of Frost is pretty much useless. And this is only if you know you're going to die, <laughs> pretty much. Um... I pick Unstable Magic because I like that the fireball can burst out towards extra stuff. Um, the Living Bomb just doesn't do as much uh, and I like having more passive abilities than having to cast an extra cast um, because with my opener and throughout the fight, the least you have to cast, the least I have to worry about and it's just easier to kind of concentrate on and I still can do the same if not more damage than picking Living Bomb. Uh, I do like Meteor over like Kindling or Cinder Storm because it does just an insane amount of damage. I know that Cinder Storm kind of does the same but Meteor if as long as you hit them it's gonna do that damage. Cinder Storm it's not necessarily, if you don't hit them with all six cinders, since they travel in an arc, you're going to be missing a huge damage output. Now, obviously a lot of the, the raid bosses are pretty huge, so it's kind of hard to miss, but even then there's still that chance, and I don't really like that. Uh, for a while I did use Kindling, and I still like Kindling. Um, for me, the only problem is is I don't use Combustion, usually multiple like more than twice in, a, in most fights um, as to where Meteor every 45 seconds I'm constantly putting down that damage uh, so that's how I run it uh, I did do a one minute session of damage and the first time I did it it gave me almost 20 million 
The second time I did it, I ran um, 17.49, and I my opener was somewhere in the range of 500,000. And we'll go ahead and pop this open so you can see exactly what the damage is. So your, a majority of your damage is coming from Pyroblast and then your Ignite, so your dot damage. And then the rest of it, it's not really doing a whole lot. Um, I mean, it's still there, but you, really your majority is going to be your Pyroblast. And that's all based, still based on crit. Um, now, I'm only item level 864. My critical is uh, 50%, and that's because a lot of my gear is tailored between frost and fire because I play a lot of PvP too. Um, if I was strictly fire then it would be a little bit different. My crit would be higher and I probably would output a little bit more damage. Um, so what you want to run here, my opener, is I do a uh, rune of power. Uh, as soon as that's about halfway done I pop, I pop a combustion and then I cast fireball and then you're going to want to cast Fire Blast to proc your Pyroblast. And then you're pretty much just going to keep switching between the two. Um, so it's going to go Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, Fire, Fire Blast, Pyro Blast until you run out. Uh, and then when you, once you run out of Fire Blasts, you're going to switch over to Phoenix Flames. You're going to be able to do about two of those before your uh, Fire Blast will recharge um, because of Flame On. And then you can do that again. And once you run out of Combustion, uh, since Combustion and Rune of Power are only a 10 second ability, once you run out of this, that's when I usually will cast Meteor. I'll get in pretty close. I'll cast a, a Dragon's Breath. Um, and then from then on, it's pretty much just a... Uh, uh, I'll keep doing Fire Blast and try to get as many crits as I can to get um, uh, Hot Streak to get those pyroblast procs. Uh, usually I will pop a second rune of power after um, after the cooldown just to give me that that extra boost and I know that it's a, a 40 second recharge but if you figure that it's a 10 second drop you're waiting 20 seconds and when you're fighting a raid boss what's well, 20 seconds I mean it's, it's really not that much so I'll go ahead really quick and I'll run through um, how I do it just so you can kind of see and we'll see what my damage output will be. Um, Alright, so like I said before, you're going to drop a rune of power, combustion halfway through that, and then go through the cycle. Uh, fireball, fire blast, pyro, fire, pyro, fire, and then you switch between the two. So let's go ahead and drop it and see what happens. So there's where I run out, and then I just start casting Fireball again until my Fire Blast comes up, and I can proc another Heating Up. Now at this point you could cast Scorch, um, but I I think I have a better chance of getting crits with uh, Fireball, in my opinion. Even though Scorch actually casts faster, I just don't think it has as high of a... It doesn't have as high of a damage or a crit chance, in my opinion. But I doubt that's actually the case. <laughs> Alright. So that was probably about 40 seconds. I should have started the stopwatch, but I didn't. Um, and that gave me roughly, it gave me 14 million. Um, so that's my build for uh, for PvE Fire, Ma Fire Mage in 7.1.5. Um, if you like, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, check me out on Twitch, Twitter. I'll have all the links in the description, and I hope you guys have a good day.